What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Here is my review for the new Netflix uh, horror comedy titled Vampires in the Bronx. That's not a typo, that's literally the title. Now, it's about uh, these, uh, like, Stranger Things like kids. Uh, I guess you could say they're like a uh, Stranger Thing meets the kids from, uh, on the, um, from, uh, on my, uh, from that, uh, on my black show. Anyway, actually, I guess you could say if you really want to look at it, this is like, uh, on, um, on my block meets maybe the Lost Boys in a way. That's how I uh, interpret this uh, this film. Anyway, you know it's about these uh, it's about these um, kids who discover that there's uh, vampires in uh, pretty much in uh, the Bronx that they uh, live at, and they got to find a way to uh, take these uh, vampires down and on. And you got Method Man who portrays a priest in this. I mean, Method Man is a priest. That's what you guys need, need to know. Uh, you got um. Uh, you got uh, Joe, the uh, kid, uh, Marino, who's of course, uh, Mara, who's of course best, who is also uh, best known um, for hosting that uh, show, Decent Mario, I think it's called. Uh, that's on Showtime. He plays the uh, bodega owner in this. Uh, you also got Chris Red is in this one. Uh, and the uh, three leads, uh, you got this, um, got this uh, Spanish kid named uh, Louise, who, uh, <laughs> who's pretty much, um, Court, uh, who's actually called uh, Spanish Harry Power, which I think it, that's a perfect uh, name from. Uh, you got some of the other kids were pretty uh, cool in this too. I mean, you know, Netflix does pretty well when it comes to uh, coming of age uh, tales. Of course, they does, they've done such a great job with uh, Stranger Things. So you, of course, get the Stranger Things vibe between the uh, three, um, between the leads. And I gotta say, this is actually, this movie, it sounds dumb. I mean, vampires and, um, in the Bronx. First we had Vampires in Brooklyn and now Vampires uh, versus the Bronx. It sounds dumb. Just from the top, it sounds like a dumb so film. And I'm in. The PG-13 uh, rating uh, sort of true me, me down a little because there are some okay PG-13 vampire movies, but vampire movies, more vampire movies should be rated R, you know? Although the Morbius movie most likely going to be great PG-13, so I guess I gotta get used to more uh, PG-13 rated vampire films. But anywho, uh, I gotta say, the PG-13 rating did not hurt this thing at all. Like, I I didn't really think, that's a, you know, after seeing it, I think the uh, PG-13 rating was all right. Like, they didn't really fully need a R, like, it didn't have to be super graphic or whatnot, so. But uh, anyway, I, I gotta say, this thing is much fun that it had any attention to being. I mean, it, it was a bit, it was a bit of a dumb film. I'm not gonna lie, it, it was kind of dumb, but it had, like, the vampires in this was pretty cool. Like, you had uh, Sarah uh, Garden, who's, of course, best known for uh, Dracula and Toad fame. Uh, she, you know, um, appeared in this. Uh, Shea Wiggum uh, was pretty cool in this. You had some interesting, cool uh, cast list in this. I mean, whoever thought that they'll ever do a horror movie about about vampires invading the Bronx? I mean, if, if you want to look at the, if you're probably not going to want to go to the Bronx the same way if you uh, see this film. But uh, anyway, that's uh, I thought this movie was really uh, had some really fun humor. Uh, the cat, like the uh, four leads, all had some great chemistry with one another. Like I said, it's, it's like All My Block meets uh, The Lost Boys. Oh yeah, or All My Block um, with vampires, you know. Uh, or I guess maybe All My Block meets Strange Things, if you will. But that aside, it's a really fun, uh, entertaining tour ride. Uh, it's hilarious. I mean, the uh, the final act was really cool to watch. I mean, if you guys have not seen Vampires vs. the Bronx yet, it's on Netflix. Give it a shot. It sounds dumb, but it's much better than it had any intentions being. So, definitely give it a shot. Anyway, uh, let me leave with you guys. Did you have a chance to check out uh, Vampires vs. the Bronx? If so, what's your thought of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu signing